So Riji, we're here in uh, California um, with you uh, in Riverside uh, by Her Simmerjit Singh. And uh, we're celebrating the 200th uh, Shihindi Purav of Baba Fula Singh. We're driving down to a camp. And uh, I was wondering if you had any questions about Baba Fula Singh. I have a ton. So I've heard that Kali Baba Fula Singh Ji was uh, during Maharaj Ranjit Singh's time, uh, that time of Khalsa Raj. But um, I guess what I'm curious to know is, uh, uh, did he have Jathidari before um, the Raj happened or after? That's a great question. Yeah. Babaji was born in 1761 and uh, Khalsa Raj formally comes into place around 1799. Okay. Uh, and it lasts formally until 1839, which is when Maharaja Raji Singh passes away. Um, so you were saying... When was he given the Jatadari? Great, great. So he was given Jatadari uh, of Akal Takht by Baba Nana Singh, who was the fifth Jatadar of, of Akal Takht okay. and Bundadal. So Babaji became the sixth Jatadar of Akal Takht and Bundadal. And they received Jatadari around the 1800s. 1800s? Yeah. Okay, and Khalsa Raj started? 1799. 1799, so a year after? Basically, yep. Okay, and so Baba, you was probably around like, what, 39, 38, 39? Yes. Okay, okay, and so when uh, Baba Ji was born, were his parents prevalent in his life? Or who were his parents? Uh, or how, how was he as a child? So when he was born, he had both of his parents alive. Okay. So Baba Ji's dad's name uh, was Pai Ishir Singh who was in Hyang Singh, uh, and he uh, was part of the Nishan Waliya missile. So he was a soldier in the Nishan Waliya missile. Uh, and Babaji's mom's name, uh, different names come before their mom uh, in history. One prominent one is Harkur. So Bibi Harkur was their mom. But they didn't really experience the love of their parents for too long. Babaji's dad passed away when Akali Fula Singh was only one year old. What? So when they were one, uh, their dad was fighting in the Vardaka Nukara, the big genocide that took place. And so they received a, a, a fatal blow um, during, during that time. They survived it, but that blow became dirila, like it became poisonous to them. And a few months later, they passed away. Um, so his father was a Shaheed? Exactly, his father was a Shaheed. Okay. Yeah, his father was a Shaheed. His mom passes away when Babaji's like 9, 10 years old. Um, a, a natural cause is like she fell down the stairs. Um, Why? But before his mom passed away, she gave some sikhyavan to Babaji. Okay. There's a really nice book uh, of Baba Fula Singh, which transcribe the Mataji's buttons to Baba Fula Singh. As she says, Put ke on ma is Jahan, to ma pooch kan waliya. I'm going to leave now this world. But before I go, I want to make sure that you know your mission of your life. I want you to live for Tarum and die for Tarum. Why? You know, that, that's my only request. Wherever there's tyranny taking place, wherever there's oppression taking place on people, I want you to go there and stand up and fight for those people. Or, you know, whoever they may be. Yeah. And their father, before passing away, was, like I said, they got a wound and they didn't really pass away right away. It took a few months. But they knew that their shield is near. Like when they saw that this wound, wound isn't going to get better, they looked towards their goodbye. Uh, Baba Nana Singh, the fifth Satur of okay. Agal Dakar. And they told Baba Nana Singh Ji that if you can become uh, the teacher of Baba Fula Singh, you know, teach him everything from Shastad and Shastad. So his father did this binti to Baba Nana Singh, who was the Jatadar of Agal Dakar. Exactly. Okay, so his father must have been close to the Jatadar. They were, yes, they were, so actually, it's believed that through the Jatadar, Baba Akali Fula Singh was born. So, how? How that Saki goes is that when Baba Isha Singh and their wife were not able to conceive for a very long period of time, one day in their pind, which was the, their pind was called Shiha, is in the south of Punjab, Malwa region. Uh, in a Shiha, uh, a group of Nihang Singhs uh, came with Baba Nana Singh at that time. You know, they came because they were like doing chakravarti para. They were going around, you know. Uh, they came to that pind, and Baba Isha Singh Ji, out of their pavana called them over to their house, the whole Fulja has served Langar to all the, all the soldiers, you know, of Baba Nana Singh Ji's army. And uh, 
Sari Akali Surmesi Nihang Singh's pray because Baba Nana Singh Ji, like I said, they're not only the Akal Tak Chatitar, uh, which is the institution of like political rule and decisions in, in, in six circles, but they were also the leader, the Jatidar of Buddha Dal, which is the highest um, battalion, you can say, of the Nihang Singh forces. Okay. Nihang Singh are different Dals, Nanak Dal, Tarna Dal, uh, Bidi Chand Dal, these all different types of battalions, you can say. Okay. And out of those battalions, Buddha Dal is seen to be what governs all of them. Okay. So, at that time period, all the Jatidars, whoever it may be, like Jasta Singh Aluwalia, or whoever came before, they had the same role where they were Jatidar of Akal Takht and so Bundadal as well. So that's why all the Nihang Singh forces came. They came to Baba Ishi Singh Ji's house, they had Prashadda, and they, they said to see Kuch Mango, ask for something, right? Yes. And uh, Baba Ishi Singh, the father of Akali Baba Fula Singh, uh, said that please, if you can do a das to Guru Ram Das Ji for us, then may- maybe we have a child who is a surma like you. Mm-hmm. And Baba Nana Singh Ji, they, the Singh they did a das at that time. They, if, you know, a few, few years later, or as time progressed, ba, Baba Fula Singh Ji was born uh, to Pai Ishus. Okay, so then they almost saw them, again, this isn't a term in our religion, but they saw them as almost like the godfather. Like, yeah. Exactly. If I give Shahidi, I want you to raise our son. Exactly. Right? Exactly. So then that means that uh, Akali Baba Fula Singh Ji was learning and growing at the charn of uh, Baba. Nana Singh Ji. Yes. yes. The Jathadar of Buddha. So he was learning Jathadari. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, so it only makes perfect sense for them to become the next Jathadar. Because from a young age, it's like one of those karate movies. Okay. Yeah, as a young kid, they, they just teach them karate. You yeah. know? Yeah. And then when they're like 9, 10, uh, 11 years old, they can they, they kill a person, right? Yeah. So it's just like that. Imagine Baba Fula Singh at, at such a young age, they're, they're learning straight Vidya uh, from a Jathadar of yeah. the Pant. Right? Yeah. Um, and they're learning everything from Shastra and Shastra, like I must mentioned before. And uh, Shastra meaning like weaponry, you know, force riding, uh, uh, how to use your sword, how to use a gun, um, how to use your shield, how to how to live in the wild. Uh, and then Shastra, and Shastra which means uh, anything to do with literature, meaning Gurbani Santhya. And they learn so many Bani, uh, they have so many Bani at Gant at a very young age. Okay, do you know what his role was? Like, what, how was he spending his days? Yeah, so a lot of his time, especially when they got older, Baba Fula Singh spent doing seva at Amritsar or Siri Anandpur Sahib. Uh, doing seva with different Guru Tamma there. Because at that time period, Jire Guru Kar Seo Kacche Si. Like the, the foundations of the physical buildings of the Guru Kar were, were Kacche. Right. They, they weren't they were like formalized into what we see today, like a marble and stone. E- even like Harmandir Sahib was not covered in gold at the time, right? Uh, it was actually uh, because of, well, of an action of Baba Fula Singh that led to Harmandir Sahib being covered in gold by Maharaja Bini Singh. Right. So Baba Fula Singh would spend so much of his time at different Guru Kaisa doing uh, Seva the Sarovars as well. Because like Amr Shah Abdali and all these different invaders that would come from Afghanistan, they would attack the Sarovars because they realized that Singhs would get Shakti from Sarovars. Okay. So even today, uh, Baba Fula Singh Ji's Jiri uh, a place of remembrance from them, one is located where they became, where they became Shaheed, uh, in, which is in modern day Pakistan today, uh, a place called Nishara. Okay. And then another one is in Amritsar because they don't say what they are. Okay. Yeah. okay. So then, I, I'm sure it's not common for a father to give his son Jatidari and at this point Baba Nana Singh Ji is practically the father of Akali Baba Fula Singh Ji. So how did that uh, decision making happen? How, how was it chosen that Akali Baba Fula Singh Ji would become Jatidari? Well Jatidari, Jatidari comes down to, I would imagine, because I, I did not find exactly a, a place in history for this question. Yes. I, but I would imagine that Jatidari would be uh, Someone for someone to be eligible to become the Jatidar of Pant, their Gardar or their character is what's being questioned, you know. And I, I would imagine skills of leadership to be in one of those criteria. Right. You know, I would imagine uh, Gurmukhi Avastha to be in one of those criteria. Um, I would imagine all these different things to play a huge role of who's going to become Jatidar next. And uh, with Baba Fula Singh, what we learn from their history. Um, you know, f- from the beginning to the end, is that 
their character you know jo main bachan ne kaha the wo main pure karke karne hai right like for example gungura sir ji mara say is that who's a surma they say uh bachan ke balli who's a surma surma is that person who is who gives their bachan their words and they commit to that bachan no matter what happens you know so baba phula singh had all those uh guns all those characters to them um that a eligible jatsa should have after okay 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 So um what are some remarkable things that Kali Baba Phula Singh ji does through his uh Chhatrapati some you know things were noteworthy noteworthy things well one is for sure is that through the Chhatrapati they become and uh, they take command of the Kali forces and the Akali uh, forces or Akali soldiers are those uh six those called say uh Surbeers those soldiers that are not only loyal to the state okay but their first loyalty goes to the guru right so for example in maharaja ji singh suraj he had his own soldiers but then the jathedar of akal takht ai baba phula singh had their own soldiers within that state right so i guess it's that idea of state within the state you know right and baba ji soldiers are first loyal to baba baba phula singh and then loyal to maharaja ji singh So one remarkable event is their shahidi you know and uh, which which is something that we all should remember and that goes something like this Baba ji's shahidi takes place in a place called Nashara and what was happening this is 1823 so it's halfway through the Sikhraj okay yeah halfway through the Sikhraj uh Maharaj Ranjit Singh gets word that um so the beginning of the year January uh that this this guy whose name is Azim Muhammad uh Amir Shah he he's gathering gathering a big force he's in Afghanistan area on the border of Afghanistan Pakistan he's gathering a huge uh force uh gathering a huge army uh under the name that Islam is in danger i guess he's realized that that's the only way to beat Maharaja Ranjit Singh uh, from expanding their army expanding their raj is to get all the muslim on one side Yeah, I still read today uh certain individuals will post that Maharaj Ranjit Singh was really bad for Islam. Hmm. Um and they they quote these resources that completely clash with our history. Okay. You know where Maharaj Ranjit Singh builds uh masjids, mosques. Um he's actually, you know, helping all different religions under his raj grow. Yeah. So that narrative actually lives today in some some places. Yeah. Yeah, it it does and I think it's, it's the reason could be uh cuz of, of a situation like this yeah you know where one person is propagating like it's propaganda right? that look all the six these kafirs are taking over they took over punjab already they took over the the the, the capital of punjab which was lahore they took over uh, they're now entering afghanistan like peshawar right uh, multan these cities were what's once afghanistani cities now they're in pakistan today because of maharaj ji uh and what's next you know the question goes out to the islamic community what's next where next yeah you know and there this propaganda is pushed that his his rule because the idea is that the borders are all man made right today we draw a line and say this is california and this is the this is the border of california is touching what our next state is seattle washington yeah, yeah, big borders yeah is all man made but the rulers of in those borders are men right, right. what better men to rule over and I, i don't mean this in specifically one gender but like what what better person to rule over that fake border area than a very pious and generous king like maharaj ji singh like you said whenever he put uh, he put a uh, sona gold on a guru card he will put uh, he put as much on a hindu mandir uh, or a mosque as well and whenever he employed people in his army he will employ muslim and hindus and even american and italian european soldiers you know there, there was no clash of uh but the only thing he had was sick values okay and and sick values meant justice for everyone and okay. sick values meant they are that you know compassion for everyone and he, even to the point that case you know everyone that entered his army generals in his army had to have case so if you look at uh pictures of uh, uh alexander gardner Right. Uh, American from Wisconsin, right? Who came to Maharaj Ji Singh Army? He had a beard. There is a beautiful book on him called The Tainted Turban. Uh and they show his picture in the in the in the front. He's yeah. wearing a turban and he has a, he has a beard. 
Yeah. You know? uh, the French released a documentary or like a show on uh, Maharaj Ranjit Singh. Oh, really? And his Raj, yeah. They also, um, I believe it was an Italian or French general okay. uh, that had a dardi in his darbar as well. I think his only rule was that you have to have a, you have to keep your kiss. Yes. Uh, you can follow whatever religion you want, but you have to have kiss. And that was like a symbol of uh, that you serve the darbar of the Sikh Raj. Yes. So, but within that, obviously, every time Maharaj Ranjit Singh would look to Akali Baba Fula Singh Ji for any type of religious punishment, religious maneuvering. So, how did that sort of look like? What were some times where Maharaj Ranjit Singh turned to Akali Baba Fula Singh? Yes. Um, when he could not take over an area, you know, he, his last resort well, became Baba Fula Singh. You know? <laughs> and it all started with the Battle of Multan. Um, I know we touched into the regime, people will come back in there. Yeah. The battle of, in the battle of Multan, and I, I think we were talking about this earlier, that the Maharaj are using sword and they have no jara, they can't get back Multan, right? They went to Darbar, I mean, this was a habit that Maharaj is noted in history to have, is that whenever he was in big trouble, he will go straight to Harmandar Seven and do a bainti day, a dasa bainti. After doing a dasa bainti, he'll go to a dal takht and do a dasa bainti day. And such a period came when he was not able to take over a city called Lutan. He went to Harmandar Sahib, did his bainti, he did his request, did his ardas prayer. Then he moved on to Akal Takht. And when he did his ardasa there, out comes Baba Fula Singh, you know, of Akal Takht. And it's like his prayer was answered by Guru Ram Das, yeah, this, uh, this, the, the, this commander, you know, will take, take over what you need, right? And Baba Fula Singh, at that point, asked, Ma, uh, sorry, Maharaj Ji said, asked Baba Fula Singh at that point, that Baba Ji, we're trying to take over Multan, but it's not happening. We can't, we can't win this war, child. Can you please help us? And Baba Fula Singh blew their conch cell, and 500 Akali soldiers, Tiyar Bar Tiyar, came right next to them, ready to give, ready to give up their uh, their lives for Baba Fula Singh, ready, ready to sacrifice everything uh, under their command. And at that moment, Baba Fula Singh got their 500 soldiers ready and they went straight uh, into the Tartiya Maltan and they conquered it and no problem, you know, uh, no questions asked. They, 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 they was one of the last forts that they couldn't beat. One of the Baba Ji came, blew their car, you know, blew their car, sale, all the 500 Akali soldiers, they came and they attacked. And before they came, 20,000 soldiers were already there of Maharaj Raji Singh's army that were not able to take over that kid up. Right, so 500 of Akali Fort John did what 20,000 regular Sikh soldiers could, couldn't do. Yeah, as Charity Gulas. So then there's this, you know, back and forth where Maharaj Ali Singh is going to Kali Baba Fula Singh. Finally, you know, we get to the Jang that is the Shahidi of Akali Baba Fula Singh Ji. What is that Jang? What is the purpose and, and how does it happen? Sure. So, like I was saying, Azim Muhammad, she, he's gathering a huge army. Yeah. He has all, already 20,000 people under his wing. And now he's he's under his propaganda. He's gonna get a bunch of other Muslim as well because Muslim have different like jatibandis, you can say. Okay. Right. So he already got the Pathans on his side, right? Uh, which were uh, people who lived in the the mountains of Afghanistan, like these type of people. He got them on his on his side. Now he was going over a river called Lundadariya. He was gonna go over that river to contact uh, a different group of Islamic uh, people and get them on his side as well and his numbers would have increased even more right so in the beginning of the year he's working all this stuff Maharaj Raji Singh finds out and it's March now and well when they, uh, they they launch a plan what their plan is that they'll make four Jatibandis okay one Jatha Baba Fula Singh so you had Baba Fula Singh these one Jatibandi of 1500 Akalis then you had someone named Sadar Desa Singh Majid Kiya and Fateh Singh Aluwalia who had about 20, 2,500 people on their side. Then you had Shah Jada Kharig Singh, who was the son of Maharaj Adi Singh, alongside the Hari Singh Nalva, uh, which is another prominent figure that we heard before, right? Uh, Sardar Pitam Singh, Kirja Kie, and the French military expert, whose name was John Francis Allard, uh, with about 5,000 soldiers, yeah? And six small cannon. And the fourth Jatibandi was Maharaj Adi Singh. Okay. So they all make their way now to an area called Nish uh, Nishara, uh, which is near the border of Pakistan and Afghanistan, but it falls in Pakistan today. So they're making their way there. Once they get there, what happens is that um, Baba Fula Singh does their das. It's Amrit Villa. Baba Fula Singh goes into her tent. Everyone has their own tents. They go into her tent, they do ardasa, 
This is Sachche Pasha Guru Kal Gita Pita. We're going to fight this battle today. Am Nishara, this is Ang Sang Sahita Kriyo. Once everything is done, they come out of their tent and Maharaj Ji Li Singh re-strategizing his plan of attack because he's found out that Muhammad Azim, he has a lot of artillery forces. His army is very strong. They found out his numbers are not what they expected. It was much more. He, got, he has a big number and big force now. He has much more cannons, artillery forces than they have. They only brought four cannons, right? So Manalaji Singh re strategizes and says, you know what, let's hold off our attack. Let's call for backup, right? Backup will come. Uh, John Baptista Ventura, uh, he's coming, the Italian soldier. He's coming with, uh, with more cannons. He will be here in a few days, then we'll attack. Right. When Baba Fula Singh hears this re strategy, he says, I can't do that. <laughs> I've already done Ardas to Guru Gita Pita ke Fajil Rai Karni and today we're fighting. So you're telling me we're gonna fight tomorrow or the next day after, that, that's not that's not something I can do because I've already done the Ardas. Oh Hector. And Itihaskar historians have write this uh, they have written this uh, a poem from Baba Fula Singh. They say Kar Ardasa Murni Sakata Fula Singh Akalni ji which means that once Baba Fula Singh has done the Ardas, he can turn back. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's 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 done deal. Baba Fula Singh takes out the Karpan and they do a Jakara. They get on their horse and they start going, right? For real. All the Kali forces like, oh, you gotta go too. They get on their horses and they, get, they run after Baba Ji. Um, Karika Singh is like, oh no. And he's like, I gotta, tell, I gotta tell my dad. Like this, the, my, Baba Fula Singh is already off to war. He only has 1,500 people in total. How is he gonna beat this, right? So they go into war. Maharaj Ji Singh is notified. He's like, damn it. They, get, they also get onto their horsebacks and, and they get their units ready and they go after Babaji. Babaji goes and they start shooting, they start fighting, right? As the war goes on, Babaji's horse becomes Shaheed. They get off their horse, they call for an elephant, get on the elephant. And now they're on the elephant, they're fighting, they're, they're shooting arrows, they have a spear in their hand and they're, they're destroying the army, right? Yeah. But what happens is from the other side, the enemy side, they shoot two bullets at Babaji and it heads straight into the mata, into her forehead. Boy. Two bullets go straight into Babaji's forehead and right away they give Shahindi. But they give Shahindi in such a way they don't go back. They fall forward. They give a, they give a salami to uh, Guru Gobind Singh Maharaj, to the junk that's happening, right? Or, and what we know about Akalis and Hang Singh forces are that have termed Akali for a reason because why they're Akali? First, Akali means Kal to death, one that cannot be defeated by death. Yeah. Second, Akali because they carry on the Shan Sab under the Mala at all times. They have a furla coming out. Right? Uh, that furla represents the Nishan Sab. Right? That Nishan Sab in battle, when a Nishan when a Nishanchi, which means the person who carries the Nishan Sab, falls in battle becomes Shaheed, we never say they died or we never say they fell. We say salami they gave. Salami. Because they fought away like they bowed you. You know? Yeah. And Babaji Salami they get in the sense that when they came down their head rested on the elephant's uh, head. And their furla still froze. Rose. Yeah. And they waved in the wind. So the whole time, friendly and enemy forces thought Babaji was alive. The whole time the battle was going. That's why their morale was so high. Their morale was so high because they're like, we're Babaji's still on our side. Wow. Maharaj Adisi comes to the battle and they're like, Babaji's still here, everyone's fighting, fighting. Then eventually Bab Maharaj Singh gets the word that Babaji has become Sheen. Maharaj Adi Singh, like, don't tell anyone. Let everything play out. And as they let everything play out, they won the battle in the shadow. Wow. They won the battle in the shadow with such less artillery forces and everything. And Babaji gave Shahidi there. Maharaj and Ji Singh with his own hands, they did the Antam Sanskar of Baba Fula Singh in the Shadow Karti. And they attached a Jagir, they attached property, about 20,000 kili uh, to that Jagir. And today, but Maharaj, we have heard from many Gursikhs that today, Musulman, do salami there, they do seva at that astan because they believe in the power of Shahid Singhs. They believe that the Shahid Singhs are there, they're governing that area. They don't touch that area. And they do, they go there and they worship the area. Why? Right. Even till today. That's incredible. Thank you for asking uh, all these questions and uh, sharing in Papaji's saddle. Well, thank you for all the information about Akali Baba Fula Singh Ji. Yes. That's Mahan, you know, that I feel like I feel uh, better connected to who Akali Baba Fula Singh Ji was. Thank you, Vinci. Thank you, Vinci. Thank you, Vinci. Fatha, Vaheguru Ji ki Fateh. 
If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, share and subscribe. Please donate and help spread Guruji's message. Link is in the description below. Vaheguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Vaheguru Ji Ki Fateh. Vaheguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Vaheguru Ji Ki Fateh.